so here uh, what 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 i'm trying to do here is that uh, I, I will try to show you uh, an example of a of a tool called sonar and this, this tool will actually tell you that uh, you know how this continuous integration and the how code analysis thing will actually can help you. Uh, this tool is freely available and uh, it is it can be used for Java imported projects. And as far as I'm aware, it has got plugins for other coding languages as well. So it is you know up to you to how to basically uh, adopt it. Uh, it can use uh, plugins like FXCorp. Uh, style copy PMD check style find bugs for static code analysis uh, it has integrations for uh, unit test uh, frameworks like uh, j unit n unit mokito mok and other stuff and also it can integrate with n cover and open cover so that you can have your test coverage results now in the next slides i will try to show you some some visual uh, graphics of this tool sonar so that you can appreciate that you know how exactly you are able to measure and you know understand your your uh, readers of the code. For example, this is a standard dashboard which you see from a sonar and what it what it does is here is if you see and it will tell you what are the lines of code in which, which you have on your project. Then it can show you that uh, how many classes you have, what are the what are the levels of comment you have, what are the what are the violations which you which are which exist in your code. And uh, it even goes to the level of telling you that what are the blockers critical, major, minor, and all those different issues. Uh, important thing here is also to understand that you can even go to the level of the code itself and see that which actually code is, is having a problem. It also tells you things like a good, uh, you know, whatever code coverage you are having, say in this case, whatever you see is around 56.7% code coverage. Yeah. Uh, this is a uh, and the second level of dashboard wherein what you have done is that you have tried to click on, say for example, getting the major issues which, which exist in a code and it shows you, uh, it actually points to the exact line which has an issue. So in this way, what, so you don't need any, any definitive code review process for it, you just deploy this tool and then it will tell you the exact, exact thing which has actually happened here. Now this is a view which uh, from Sonar, and this is pretty useful for not only developers but project managers and people higher up, high up in the hierarchy. This shows you the diff, you know uh, you know every uh, every uh, you know image here actually shows a different project. So this is a you know view of the whole ecosystem of, of an organization, which shows that you know few of the projects in the organization are amber and the other ones are green. And then you can click and then go inside and then you check the health of each and every project. So this is a extremely useful health check or the heat map mechanism for the whole organization and it has and it's widely used for the same purpose so this is another very interesting thing wherein you can actually check that uh, what was the state of the code on a certain you know uh, time scale for example if you see here on on 30th of July you can go and check that what, how many lines of code you had, how many, what was the complexity, what were the rules, compliance, and coverage. And then you keep moving in, in the cycle and then you can, you know, have that, have that data or a history ready at your, at your will. And this is ex excellent uh, to understand that how you have progressed from one state to the, to the other state. So until now, uh, we have covered two, different, two important aspects of code quality code quality framework. So the first first framework is about uh, about uh, having the equipment which is the quality coding. The second is about the continuous feedback mechanism which is the CDM. 